This is just a quick introduction to how to export applets and applications from the processing development environment. So I have on my desktop um, a processing sketch. It really doesn't matter what this file is, as long as that it runs when I click on run here. And so this applet's running fine, or this application. So uh, there's a couple different ways that you can export this into an applet or an application. So one way is to click right here on the export applet button. And it's really not that clear what happens, but basically it opens up this new directory. If I command click on the folder in Mac OS X, I can go back down to the previous directory, which is the one that I hope it opened originally. And you'll see there's this new applet directory created and within it a whole bunch of different files that are used. But most importantly, we want to look at this index.html. So now open this up in Safari you'll see that it's exactly the same result. It's just within a web page and it also links to the different source code. So the other way that you can export this is under the file menu. You can click on export applet. It will have the exact same result. But the other thing you can also do is export this as an application. This is going to be really useful if you want to export your application, if you have um, some sort of special security settings and that you're reading video off of the webcam, things like this, you'd want to export an application as well. And so the way you do that is under File, you choose Export Application. There's a couple different options here. You can choose which platform, such as Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux, and you can choose to show it full screen and have a stop button. And so I'll just export all of them just to illustrate what happens. And you'll see I have three new directories, Application Linux, Mac OS X, and Windows. I'm going to open up that Mac OS X one and just show you that this application does run, in fact, full screen. And it does have a stop button, which allows me to stop it. Now, all the applications that run full screen, also, if you hit the Escape key, will quit them as well. So if that's not the desired result, you're going to want to change that. There's kind of a hack that you can find on the processing website to change that. Um, but I wanted to show you something else that's very interesting. So what's nice about processing is it uses a javascript style comment so you can embed information about your program on the top that will be automatically put into the web page when you export it. So you might have heard me talk about javadoc before, but um, we know about the other types of comments, right? We do slash slash, this is a comment. So we've seen these types of comments before, and then there's a slash star and star slash. And this allows you to do a comment that would be multiple lines. So you could say comment out multiple lines of code rather than just one. So the Java doc comment is very similar to this. Um, the difference is instead of doing slash star, you actually add one more star. So it's slash star star. And then you end it in the same way, star slash. And so I can put within these um, comments a description of my application. So now when I export it, you'll see when I open up the file in Safari, now that description that I put within the comments is listed right here. So there's a couple other things you can do that are mostly just stylistic, but one thing you might see a lot of uh, in other processing applets is this style of comment. Basically, doing slash star star and then an extra star and then you start your comments basically um, spaced over. So this is going to give us the exact same result when I export it. But what's nice about this style is it kind of creates an, a nice header that looks different than the rest of the comments that might be in your source code. When I worked as a Java developer, we used this style. We would use, instead of two stars, I would use five. And I like this, and I still use this to this day because I think it creates an even more emphasized header that's very obvious that this is the, the header in the Java doc. And so, just like the other one, it will work exactly the same, and whatever I put there will show up here right on the web page. So, it's really up to you whether you want to use the 
basic Java doc or this more of a header style to display your code. It's more of a personal preference, but this is the way that you embed automatically descriptions of your code within your exported applet.